Lisa. Still ahead this morning, Tree Boy will join us from Jazz Fest. That's right, you don't have to have your own jazz glasses to find jazz this weekend. It's the Indie Jazz Fest downtown Indianapolis. I'll show you around when we come back. This news is brought to you in part by Farm Bureau Insurance. Jazz greats like Aretha Franklin and B.B. King are in town this weekend. All having a good time for the fourth annual Indie Jazz Fest. It all started last night. This morning, Tree Boy joined us this morning from Jazz Fest. Making a little noise out there, Tree Boy. They're making a lot of noise. I just love this jazz stuff. I broke out my jazz glasses. I look uh, like a cross between uh, Billy Walton and Billy Holly with these glasses on. But, uh, hey, it's our time to let our hair down or put our hair up, Laney, I think, and talk about the Jazz Fest downtown here. Not only is it a military park, but over at IUPUI, also on the library lawn. Right. Give us the tickets price. Just give us some laundry information. Okay. Uh, tickets are $24, um, being the day, day of show price. Um, like you said, it's um, the IUPUI library lawn is where the Bank One American Music stage is, Jazz Heritage stage is over in um, uh, Military Park. Okay, now, there's not a three-day pass or a two-day pass anymore. It's $24 each day. That's correct. Okay, what time do you actually open up today? We open, the gates are at 11 o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to go over and talk to uh, Mike Milligan and Steve Shovel. Hey, Mike, how are you? Yeah, how's it going? Good morning. This is a pretty big deal for you guys. You're on the bill with Aretha Franklin and oh, B.B. Yeah. King. I mean, this for a local band, that's that's pretty yeah. that's pretty good resume, Yeah, isn't we're it? excited. <laughs> Tell us what we're going to expect from you guys. I mean, you're not playing today, actually. You're playing tomorrow. Right. We're on tomorrow at 1.30. Um, we'll be doing stuff off of our first album and our second album that came out in September. And uh, we're just excited to be here. And very cool. Introduce the members of your band, if you would. On drums, Mr. Derek Felix. Yeah. Okay. On bass guitar is my little brother, Mr. Sean Milligan. Okay. So there is no steam shovel. Uh, it's, it's all of us, really, all okay. together. All right. And I'm, I'm just the band leader. All right, Mike. Well, fire him up here. Let's, uh, let's hear some of these sounds as I step out of the way. check back with you. Keep those guys around so we can hear more of them. Yeah. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Yeah, we actually, last summer, we had them here in the studio playing, and uh, it's a lot of fun. They're I great. love to listen to that. Jazz is good music. Well, Those we... three boys coming up as well. That's right. Listen to a little bit of jazz. You know, to some, it's just entertainment. To others, it's a way of life. To me, just an opportunity to wear these glasses and say things like, cool man and daddy-o. I'm Tree Boy, and I'll take you to the Jazz Fest when we come up. 3,000 music fans are enjoying the sounds of jazz, blues, soul, and gospel this weekend. It's all part of the fourth annual Indie Jazz Fest. It all kicked off last night. Tree Boy joined us this morning. Going into the tease, Tree Boy was saying daddy-o. <laughs> daddy-o, cool man, and all that kind of stuff. Mike Milligan, I mean, they're the guys that uh, really know jazz. They're playing here at Henry Stage. Just one of the stages, many stages here at Jazz Fest. Ellen, this event is so cool because it combines not only the top jazz acts in the country, but local guys like these guys. We have a, um, over half of our acts this week, this weekend, excuse me, are local acts. And you know that uh, Dwight Evans is playing here uh, today, actually. They're going to take stage, and my brother plays bass for them. So this is a great showcase for the local artisans we have. It's great, and I think they love it. In the background, you have Mike Mulligan. He's playing tomorrow. 
and um, it's just an awesome opportunity to showcase local talent. Okay, now while we're listening to Mike and the group, uh, give me the ticket prices again and any information that people need to get here. Okay, gates open at 11 o'clock. We ask you to come early. Aretha Franklin starts tonight at 9.15, and we know it's going to be packed. She just Check loves milk. Did you know that? I Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, she loves milk, yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> she had James Brown here last year, and we he was did. feeling good. But B.B. King, Aretha Franklin, I mean, I don't know how you get the top acts like that. We're really fortunate this year. We expect 30,000 people. Tickets are only $24 a day. 13 acts on the main stage today alone. So All it's right. a great day. It's beautiful outside. Come on down. Great. Okay, thanks, Ellen. All right. Hey, Mike, fire him up a little bit. Come on, get jazzy with us. safety goggles off now. <laughs> All right, there you guys. go. See you later. He's having a really good time out there. Well, you can see the lineups for this weekend's Indie Jazz Fest by logging on to WTHR.com. And you can get out here in front of Bay